Alright, welcome to Killing Floor Games Grand Final. This is Team Synergy with their third game, this one on Transit. I'm Grail, and joining me are Egg and Star Wars Oz. Hi everybody, great to be here for the third installment of Synergy's Grand Final run. It's been pretty impressive so far, and... Well, they're straight into it. Um, Star Wars Oz. And yeah, very, very quick. They skipped half of it, and they're straight into the races. Did they weld that door to the left of... Yes, they did. Did they? Yes, they did. Interesting. I don't believe anything's going to come that way. I can't believe I've ever seen any of my camp here, but it seems to be working quite well. It is nice and simple. It's very close to at least a few of the traders. The traders on this map are spread out quite a bit, but the advantage is that you can jump over a lot of uh, edges to get back to it. This spot where they camp it here offers that really nice without the corner and lots of time, lots of places you can jump over and save a lot of time, so this is tactically very sound from that point of view. This is a crack in time. Yeah, it's working out quite nicely for the demo. Sense. Check out that you know, way already. The other advantage of where they are at the moment is pretty much one of the fastest spots on this map is just in that courtroom in there because there's so many spawn points and they look like they are utilizing all those spawn points really well. That time is Damn it. really up, good. Boys. Whoa! It's gonna be Just under two, two minutes. minutes. My goodness. Run for it! Getting to the back trader is pretty fast time with this time. If the every wave goes like that. Up, boys. For sure. With the time that, oh, we go. yeah, with the time that's like this, the, the important question is going to be: Do they go after the vials of DNA? <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! Run! I, I know from experience on this map, it's, um, it's a pain in the ass to get them all. So I'm going to yeah, say Roger. no. There are loads of them, aren't there? Yeah. Okay. And lots of difficult to reach spots as well. Like Hold on a check, I'm reloading. Wow, just over three minutes in Yeah, you can really make a lot of trader saves on this time because even though it does take a while to get there, they can take virtually no time to get back. But just Yeah, they're they're cranking it here. Look how much they come from the door though. That was interesting. They got a tusk fireball coming from the side. There's a tiny little gap there. It missed, but the husk did open up. Can you see I'm reloading? Can you sign anything to come? Reloading! One husk is not really doing much for it. Even though it's the last thing they want, I guess, although Creeper is returning serve back to there. Um, is for one of them to potentially hit someone when they're trying to take out a scrake or a flush pound. But, smashing it. Watch it, I'm reloading! There's just a constant stream heading to that front door. Flush pound. That was a good kill by Reaper. The first I'm grenades actually sure. missed him. Uh, he backed off and, and adjusted and took him out. Five minutes have ticked over now. 
and they've almost finished the next fight. Watch it! I'm reloading! Reaper's already off to the trader, he's almost there. He clearly didn't roll that door too much, just a little bit and just a block the, the pathing. And you can see this is the trader, they'll just go straight over the edge and they'll be back there almost instantly. And there goes Reaper over the edge. Followed by the rest of his team. Rolling that door again. Rolling door and saving about 25 seconds. Very good time indeed. Flesh pound from the bridge. Matt was there with his head poking out the door just as the wave began. Spotted it, I'm sure there was instant communication. They communicate very well, I'm sure, this team. You can just tell the way they play. Mushroom head agrees. Always <laughs> well, good to get validation. Indeed, it's great. I'm more concerned about how, what, how he can do this. Look at the kill team. Reaper on 270, 224 already. Next highest is 97. Is it just because they all come up so nicely at that ball? Yep. Reaper is doing the, the lion's share of the killing gear. And this looks like the shaft is just there to take out the sprakes at the moment. But it's getting in a fantastic time. Nothing good, nothing good, I'm gonna take it in. Awesome. They're after a pause. Their pings are all okay. Must be something I'm else. Sure, I'll just know what it's about. Gotta hate that. Oh, that's painful. I was wondering if the demo had stopped cranking out shots because there was quite a few scrakes and maybe he's trying to avoid raging them. But it turns out no, he just couldn't see. Probably Winner's update knowing and they lo loves to take out what you're doing to show it. And we're back. As is a Reaper. Reaper celebrates by blowing up all his heads. So this is going to be a very fast time here. Easily it's going to be sub 20. I reckon we're going to be seeing at this rate 16 minutes, maybe 17. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, it's, it's uh, all within play. Motor elements. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Close to the Mars prediction. I don't see him in this. Mars was very specific there. 17 minutes 22. He has clearly been to the future and turned. Get the hell out of here! Especially if he gets that dead on. Saying that they've completed wave 8 in 8 minutes. No, th no risks either. No, they've looked in to be in no real danger at all. Bit Shots more welding. A minute 56 has been saved in trade time already. Flush pound from the front with a siren, couple sirens. No must clean up his uh, collateral damage. Please tell me that's not a chainsaw. This is going to be it. Grenade launcher shot placement is really impressive. You want the shot to yep. be just outside the door, and that's happening a lot. So it's cleaning up a lot of stuff that you can't even see. Yep, this is going to be a possibly hard time to beat. It could be reckless, eh? 
for sure. Can't you see I'm reloading? So far this one right here. Mark is correct. Oz's team that has the fastest time in this tournament on any map. That is seriously under threat. I think the only very tiny drawback I can find in the strategy is a slight chance of reading the scrape by catching the grenade blast before Reaper can even see it. But with two or even three other shots to back him up, yeah, that's not really that much of a danger. Yeah, I think they're fully prepared for that to happen and for the sharps just to clean up the mess. Yeah, and the they do have to Yep. Flesh pan, boom. Reaper has 200 kills more than the next. I'm very, very happy with the spot for a demo. Raging Strike. Mushroom Head took a hit, but no problem. Um, Wave's almost over. Alright, just one crawler left. Wave 9. See how they go with the double push bounds, but I don't think that's going to really affect them at all with a nice trick point oh, like that. Crap, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Only if the flesh pounds come with a, with a gap between the two, if one's trailing the other, is it going to be a potential rubber, issue? Bullets. If they're clumped, they'll just get cleaned up. Well, if, they, if one comes from each side at the same time. That's yeah, I haven't seen that so far in this tournament. Um, they've always tend to come together. Rubber, you uh, I think in one of your games, Oz, we saw two flesh pounds come together and one then change his mind. Um, but yeah, they tend to always spawn together, I've noticed so far. So we haven't had the things. dreaded triple. Pipes down at the bridge entrance. Looks like he's going to put the pipes down at the front as well. So they're covered on every side. Watch it! Beginning the penultimate wave on 11 minutes 30. Double flesh pounds. And gun. Double, double big files. Again, mushroom pedigrees. Doesn't look like much is going to be able to stop this thing, that's for sure. Given they put down pipes on the other entrance, perhaps they're planning on taking the Patriarch here too. Possibly. I think that was also just in case the flesh pants spawn out there. Yes, yeah, so we have it has at least one once or twice there during this game, so it could just be they could come in both ways. Yeah, it could just be the Saying that, if the pipes manage to last this way, they might use it for the pack. Stay put, you kid. Stay put, you My god, it this is going to be a nice room for. to take that patriarch here. Lots of nice, um, those slanted coins to hide behind for the chain guns. Of course, lots of areas for the rockets to hit as well. Catch. Of course, they are weak. Less than a hundred to go. Absolutely yes. Flesh pound at the front. Dead flesh pound at the front. Is there a second one? Yes there is. Behind a whole bunch of zits. And it's taken a few headshots already from the crossbows. It's got one leg straight. So they took a little bit of shooting. Yeah, they took a little bit of damage there, but nothing that they couldn't worry about. So they got plenty more hit points where that came from. Yeah. That was very friendly. Considering the situation. Reaper's kill count is closing on 500. 
I wonder what the uh, the regular number of kills for a single player in this tournament has been. It would surprise me if Reaper has uh, surpassed that considerably in this game. I don't remember this much of a disparity. One Z left. Got the traps against the world door. Burn rubber, you pillar! All right, so they have finished wave ten. And it was minutes. 1358 at the completion of wave 10. Scarpa! Very, very fast time. Let's we'll see how they go with the patriarch. But barring a wife, I don't think. 50 cal fun time. They'll get a plus 20 time. Burn so Robert Reaper is, pillars. as he has Burn been doing Robert all games pillars. in the grand final so far, carrying a grenade launcher, flare revolver, dual hand cannons. And he'll probably be trying to trigger those uh, pipe bombs with his flare. So welding the door. Interesting. If he rockets it, those they're gonna lose those pipes. He's coming from the other direction though. <laughs> so are they expecting that? He will run to the door and detonate the pipes in. I think that is it. That's what they're expecting. Nice work with the crossbows. He's just swimming down the bottom there. Can you see I'm reloading? Cover me, I'm reloading. He's running around. So there's something on that door with those pipes. There's a bunch of clots. A couple of clots on those clots. Here he comes. Into the room they were holding. Pipes are all Oh no. On oh, some clots. Oh. Here he comes. Yeah. A lot of crossbow shots going. He's making a few hits. He's running some there. And now he goes over. Bit unlucky there. And he has escaped. Losing those pipes is unfortunate, but I feel that welding the door probably led to that. Unless they were, maybe they were just hoping that he would run that way and get caught at the door trying to get out. Can you see I'm reloading? But this is still a great time. Those headshots. Very, very accurate. Bang, dead. 1655. Wow. So I believe your time on Steamland is intact, but that was a great game.